Today I want to talk to you about CoQ10. We have two forms of CoQ10 on my website. We have these gel caps that are 50 milligrams a piece, and we also have a chewable that is 300 milligrams. So CoQ10 is an antioxidant. It's found in our mitochondria, the powerhouses of our cells. And certainly if you're suffering from any sort of uh, muscle disorder, autoimmune disease or chronic you know, health condition, likely your mitochondria are having problems and likely you are deficient or not optimal in your CoQ10 levels. Um, also, if you're somebody who is taking a cholesterol medication like Crestor or Lipitor, um, that is known to decrease your CoQ10 levels. In fact, it's going to be malpractice probably one day if your doctor did not suggest that you supplement with CoQ10 while you're taking one of those medications. Um, so depending on your body's needs and what condition you are you know, dealing with, anywhere from 50 up to 300 milligrams a day. If you're somebody with autoimmunity, you know, MS, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, um, I definitely recommend probably higher on the 300 milligram spectrum. Uh, somebody just for preventative health, um, our CoQ10 naturally declines as we age, then 50 to 100 milligrams would be appropriate for you. Um, and there's, you know, really not a great way to test CoQ10 through the traditional lab testing. Um, so it's typically more of a functional medicine test. And so if you don't have access to that, um, there's no harm in taking CoQ10 50 to 100 milligrams on your own uh, without testing. And certainly if you're taking higher dosages, um, better to work with a practitioner on those and get your levels checked. But this is something that naturally declines with age. Certainly something that if you're dealing with a chronic health condition, likely you have a mitochondrial issue and problems with your CoQ10. So would recommend between 50 to 300 milligrams of CoQ10 a day. If you're taking the pills, that would be one to, well, each pill is 50 milligrams. And if you're taking the choose, they're 300 milligrams a piece. It's a fat soluble vitamin, so best taken with food. And even a fatty meal is when I prefer um, you to take anything that is fat soluble. So the fat soluble vitamins are D, A, K, and E. And then of course, fish oils are fats and then CoQ10, anything that's in a gel cap that typically tells you that it's a fat or fat soluble and best to be taken with a meal and even with a high fat meal.